hello friends and welcome to sunny tech youtube channel so in today's video we are going to complete our ping pong game so before we start give a like to this video and if you are new in our channel just click on the red subscribe button so without wasting time let's get started so in the last class we have created a score and our line and the uh, reset system so today we will fix some bugs we will show some text and I will tell you how to control the secondary pattern using keyboard so without wasting time let's get started so first of all we need to do that we have to print text since it is an in game state, so we have to write if statement. So if uh, game state is equal to equal to start. Okay. So in the start state we will print the text and that is press space to serve after that we will input a comma and then x coordinate I will give it to 70 and 1, 180. Okay. Now we have to uh, give the text size and color. So we will write in the start state only text size. I will give it. 30 and fill so we use fill to fill the color in the text so I will keep it blue ok see now when you press space the game set changed and it is text disappeared now when the game will over so we will just copy this And if game state is equal to equal to over text will be let's not copy one. We will print two text here. First the game over message and second to restart it. So we will just write game over and I will give it 200 190 and here I will write press now we will use R button to reset the game press R to restart ok I will give it 100 and 250 ok so let's Shift it. Two, three, four, five. See, it's working. Just I have to oh, fifty. Oh, sorry. Okay, like this we will fix it 130 okay now we have to create a reset version so for that we will write if key down 
P down in inverted realize R. You can use small R or capital R according to your wish. Then we will write. Mm. Then we will change its game state to start. So since we are restarting it, so there will be a difference between pressing R and automatic reset. Means when the score, uh, when the ball moves out, so it resets like that. First, we will reset it, but you can see the score is not changing, so we will change the score also. So, computer score is equal to 0 and player score is equal to 0. Okay, now see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now when I will press R. See, game to save and score again became zero. So, we have completed our game. Now, we have to fix some bugs. Like, you can see in the game state that our pedal is moving. Second thing, when you press R in this uh, running state, see, score became zero. So, to fix it, we will just write for the paddle we will give a condition that if game state is equal to equal to play then only the paddle will move with the paddles ok see it fixed it now we have to do the same with the reset button but we will use game state over so we will use here and operator means if both the statements are true then only the program will execute so we will write game state is equal to equal to over then only our button will work ok this work and you can see it is not restarting so let's check 1 2 3 4 5 and now I will press R C it's done so now i will tell you how you can use this pedal as a secondary pedal to play with friends so it's very easy just instead of uh, writing computer parallel dot y is equal to ball y we will just comment it and we will write if we will use if condition if Key down. So we will use keyboard to control the uh, uh, this computer panel. Okay. So you key down. You write up arrow. So up arrow. Com panel. dot y is equal to I will copy this line from the y plus 10 sorry so since it will move upside so it will come in negative form so we will write like minus 10 like I will copy this statement Instead of up, we will write 
down and we have so plus we will write my, uh, minus we will write plus now you can see our computer pedal moves okay so like this we will move our pedal so let give comment here so pedal movement it is uh, uh, text message so here we use game state post not to here uh, here we are using messages using game state and here we are creating Reset button. Okay. So now that's all for today. So if you like this video, give a like to this video. And if you are new in our channel, just click on the subscribe button. So we have completed our ping pong animation game. So see you in the next video. And if you want any video on any topic related to the programming or any other, just comment me in the description box. And I will make that video for you. Okay. So, see you in the next video. Till then, good night.